What's up everybody, it's Mark again, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of using a bunch of fancy cameras, I'm just using my webcam and my computer to record this video. And I'm do I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. Usually around this time of year, people start thinking about what they're gonna do differently this season. And a lot of people come up with the idea that they wanna start their own YouTube channel. So we start getting a lot of questions about how we do things on our YouTube channel but the biggest question that people usually ask when they find out we have a YouTube channel is, do you actually make money with a YouTube channel? It's kind of a complicated answer. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the finances of our YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you exactly how much Swamp and Stomp makes um, and how much time and effort goes into making that money so that you can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to pursue. But before we dive into that, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video because if you don't do that, then we can't make any money and we still really enjoy sharing this information with you guys. But the little bit of money that we make does help a lot. So please like and subscribe and maybe go one step further and hit that share button down underneath the video and send this to a friend of yours through a text message maybe they would find one of our videos useful. We'd really appreciate it if you guys would do that, especially since the YouTube algorithm does not favor hunting channels. So it doesn't like to show our stuff to other people. So we kind of rely on you guys to do that for us. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. And one last thing before we get into it, um, as you probably know, we like to put on events during the off season and we have two really cool events coming up in the near future. We'd love to see you guys at those events. The first one that's coming up really fast is gonna be on July 15th at uh, in Jupiter at the Riverbend Park. We are doing an event together with Backcountry Hunters and Anglers where we are doing a scouting workshop. And this is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you guys show up. We split everybody up into groups. We link you up with a bunch of really experienced hunters here in Florida. Um, and then we go out into a preserve. Those hunters will then sort of look around for sign, show you what sign they're finding, what that sign means to them, how to tell if it's fresh or old or whatever, um, you know, how you would set up based on the sign that you're finding, uh, maybe where you put cameras, you know, all the stuff involving what to do once you find sign and how to find it. So if you have questions about that stuff, this is gonna be a perfect event. And then after we finish doing all of that, um, we will meet for lunch. Um, we're gonna be roasting up a whole hog and uh, it's gonna be a good time. So uh, bring some beverages, um, you know, the adult kind. We'll have plenty of uh, non-adult beverages there. And just come hang out and uh, talk with other people in the community. It's, uh, it's always a really good event. So we hope to see you guys there. And the second event that we would love to see you guys come to is going to be our Saddle Hunter 3D Archery Tournament and Workshop. We actually tried to host this event on June 17th, and unfortunately, our venue backed out the day before the event. But we found a new venue. It's actually a way better venue. Um, so we're really excited to get that event back on back on the schedule. So now it's going to be on July 22nd. So literally the weekend after the scouting workshop, you can find all the details for all of our events at our Facebook page. So just go on Facebook, look up Swamp and Stomp, go to the event page, or just go down in the description of this video. You'll find a link right there. So hopefully we'll see you guys at some of these, these events. Now let's get into this video. All right, so as I mentioned, this time of year, a lot of people start asking us about starting a YouTube channel. And we'll notice a lot of times we'll see sort of like a new YouTube channel pop up and they're always posting and they're asking us to share their stuff. And, you know, we totally encourage people to get into this stuff. But unfortunately, we usually see those new YouTube channels kind of fizzle out after a few months um, to a year. Um, 
And I think that's because people realize just how much work is actually involved in this. I think a lot of people have the idea that this is going to be like a quick way to get famous and get a bunch of money. And the reality is it's a lot of hard work. I think people underestimate just how much work goes into a YouTube channel. So it's something you really have to love. Uh, if you don't, you're probably not going to stick to it. Um, but just to show you how much we loved this, how much love we put into it in the beginning, we're going to go through all of the numbers starting back in like 2017 when this all started. All right, so first things first, I made myself small here in the corner. Here we are looking at the dashboard of our YouTube channel. As you can see, at this current time, we have 15,500 subscribers and we have put out a total of 224 videos. That number right there is going to be important because we're going to average across all of those videos how much money we've made. So let's take a look at our analytics, uh, which I have open here. And uh, this is what our views, you can see here on the y-axis, these are our views. Um, starting all the way back here in 2009, and I'll explain why that is in just a second. Um, and then here you really start to see a lot of views popping up in the past few years, um, I think uh, 2020 um, is really when things started picking up and I'll explain sort of uh, how that happened. So the reason that this goes all the way back to 2009 is because when we started this channel, it was actually Danny's YouTube channel that he had put a couple videos out back in the day and he had maybe like 100 subscribers or something like that. So we decided it would give us a head start if we just built off of that channel. So we, we did that. But as you can see, there really wasn't any activity in these first like five years, uh, nine years. Um, we really didn't get started until uh, 2017. So I'm gonna change the, uh, the date range here to uh, 2017. Um, and we're just gonna go from like January 1st, damn it, January 1st, um, 2019, to uh, I guess we'll go uh, December 31st um, of 22. That way we're working with whole years. All right, so this is really looking more at, um, you know, once we really started getting going uh, with Swamp Stomp. One thing you'll notice is uh, if we look at this, this is basically our money. This is the, this is how much money our YouTube channel has made basically from the beginning until the end of 2022. So we're that's six months short of where we're at right now. So that's $8,492. It's probably a lot lower than what you were imagining. But one thing I want you to notice, if I, um, if I sort this by uh, estimated revenue per video, and it's probably not uh, for nothing that the ones that make the most money seem to always be the ones involving alligators. I think that's just because it draws people in from all over the place and not just Florida hunters. But so uh, the one where uh, Danny had to shoot at an alligator to keep it away, uh, that one has uh, got just over a million views. That one by itself has made about $3,000. And then uh, the one where John harvests the absolute behemoth of a alligator has made about $760. Um, other than that, there's a few uh, deer hunting ones. Here's one where Danny shot a, a nice buck with his bow, 300 bucks. Uh, here's another one, 200 bucks, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but keep in mind that we have 224 videos. So when we calculate the average of this number across 224 videos, we're basically ending up with an average of about $38 per video. Um, and again, keeping in mind that the majority of the money that's made is only a few videos. So most of the videos you do aren't really going to make a lot, but we're averaging it out here, $38 per video. Now let's break that down a little bit further. Each video <clears throat> editing, well, let's forget about the filming aspect of it for now. Um, because a lot of times we enjoy filming the videos. Now, if it's a video like this, it's not really fun per se, um, you know, if they're instructional videos or um, something or gear reviews, it's not necessarily fun, it's, it's more work. But when we're hunting, we enjoy doing that, so you can kind of ignore it. But regardless, I would say that uh, making a video will take you anywhere from four to eight hours of work, 
I think a lot of people would be pretty surprised to know how much time actually goes into a video. The editing takes up the majority of the time. I would say that on average, you're probably probably spending six hours per video, anywhere from four to eight hours, realistically. Um, and that's not including the filming of the hunt itself. That part's fun, so I don't, I'm not going to count that. But anyway, so if you take that $38, the $38 per video, you divide that by six, now we've come to a grand total of $6.30 per hour of work that you've put into those videos. Not a lot. <clears throat> and granted, this is over the course of like five years, five, six years, no, five years of work. So for the first five years, you can expect to make an average of about $6.30 per hour of work. But I will say that the return on your uh, your investment, your work invested increases over time. And in fact, there's a period at the beginning of your channel where you don't make anything. Um, in fact, if you look at this graph right here, this point right here, um, this is where uh, right around when we released this video that I'm highlighting here, it's the hunter stops alligator attack. It's the one where Danny had to shoot at an alligator. That video uh, we released it like the week before we reached 1,000 subscribers and YouTube requires you to have a thousand subscribers before you can monetize so you can't make any money until you have at least a thousand subscribers now I remember we we released that video about a week before we hit the thousand and then uh, that video sort of accelerated uh, the last bit of subscribers to hit 1,000 once we hit a thousand subscribers we immediately monetized the channel and that video started blowing up and so you can see that blue line here you know it's dwarfing all the other lines that are down here you can't even see them because that video got so many views so for a while that video was the only thing that was really making any money on our channel um you know you can see here at, at some point it was getting you know i, I don't know like it was like 80 or 80 to like 100 bucks in a day. Um, but, you know, everything is cyclic on, in YouTube. It, you get these peaks. Um, it, it's never continuous. So, um, but anyway, so up until that point, we didn't make any money. But we had already put together 50 videos before we actually monetized. So that means that if we're averaging six hours per video, we're talking about... Uh, 50 videos times six hours we're talking about 300 hours of work for free before we could even monetize now that said some of those videos uh you know you still monetize them so after you hit that thousand subscriber mark those videos can start making money but the reality is they're probably not going to be your best videos because it's going to be at the beginning of your youtube channel and you're still learning how to do it so they're not really going to make a lot of money another thing to think about is that our channel in general has like a peak period it's going to be from july through october is when a lot of people are watching our channel you know that's when people are interested in hunting and so that's when the majority of our views happen the rest of the season we're usually or the rest of the year we're usually putting together instructional videos that you know some of our main followers will watch but we don't really make much money during that off season period now eventually uh, those videos that we made in the off season will start getting watched or viewed again once the season starts to pick up so I have found that even though uh, when we initially release those videos they don't make very much money um, over time, they actually tend to do pretty well. So just to give you an example of that, um, you know, here, these, these are some harvest videos. Um, this is another harvest video that did extremely well. But then here, this is, this is a DIY, how to build an archery target. When I made this, it barely got any views. But over time, it's become really popular because people are searching for those DIY things. And so over time, it's gotten 25,000 views. Um, and in the off season, uh, this one's actually one of our biggest money makers. I think we're probably overall bringing in maybe like a hundred bucks a month um, in the off season. It's not very much. And you'll see here again, um, you know, aside from these top three, which are all harvest videos, after that, these are all, um, well, this is a harvest video. 
but for the most part we're seeing a lot of instructional videos and reviews and things like that um, until finally we start getting into here uh, where some of the harvest videos are again so um, I guess the point of saying that is don't don't forget about those videos they might not give you that instant gratification of getting a lot of views right off the bat but oftentimes they do uh, help out the channel so um, if you're gonna make a channel make sure you got some useful content in there as well so at this point you might be wondering how much do you get paid per view and that's not really how YouTube does it because it really kind of depends on the video a longer video is gonna have more commercial breaks and therefore uh, it's going to produce more ad revenue but the video does have to be compelling and keep people's attention because otherwise they're just not going to watch it but so let's just go with the rule of averages again so let's look at this uh this second video here this is the biggest alligator ever harvested so in total it has made 758 dollars let's divide that by the number of views which is 132,168 um, and we get 0 0.0057 alright so let's multiply that out by a thousand it's gonna give us a slightly more tangible number so went ahead and did that and um, we get five dollars and seventy four cents per thousand views which is actually really good um, it's gotten a lot better YouTube has improved the ad revenue for for youtubers I remember when we first got started it was probably 10% of that I think we were getting like 50 cents per view so um, it's probably a little higher than that now but it's still not a lot um, you know especially considering the majority of our videos get a few thousand views and then some of the harvest videos get uh, you know quite a bit more than that so at this point you might be thinking holy crap a YouTube channel might not be worth it it really doesn't make much money are there any other ways to make money with a YouTube channel and yes there are the next question becomes how many views do you need to get on your YouTube channel to actually make a real living so in today's economy you probably need to make about eighty thousand dollars a year to really you know take care of yourself and be able to live properly so let's take that eighty thousand dollars and divide by that five point seven four dollars per thousand views that'll tell us how many thousands of views we need um, so 80,000 divided by 5.57 gives us 14,400 now keep in mind that's not how many views you need to get we still got to multiply that by a thousand so you need to be getting 14 million views to make $80,000 through a YouTube channel and just to put that into perspective over the course of the five or six years that we've been doing this we have gotten just under 2.8 million views so we haven't even gotten one sixth of what you would need to make any kind of a living so that of course brings up the question are there any other ways that you can make money with a YouTube channel and yes yes there are let's talk about those uh, probably the best thing that you can do is uh, get sponsors now realistically you want to get a sponsor like a title sponsor that's going to give you money to represent their gear um, now some of the more pop more popular or more successful YouTube channels out there like the hunting public blue Gabe deer meat for dinner they all have one thing in common they have sponsors that back them a flat rate but that flat rate is significant it's basically an entire salary I'm not going to give away numbers um, although I have talked to some of them but we're talking a full-on annual salary um, every year and that gives you a safety net to focus on your YouTube channel to really blow it up and unfortunately to make that happen you have gotta make connections and that old saying that people always bring up it's all about who you know it really counts when it comes to a YouTube channel because the fact of the matter is nobody wants to help you get famous or make your channel successful because they've worked really hard to make their channel successful so uh, you have to figure out a way to fight your way to the top and it's not easy because there's a lot of YouTube channels out there nowadays um, pair that up with the fact that there's a lot of people out there that are willing to do this stuff 
just for discounts on gear, most companies are just not that willing to pay large amounts of money for advertising through YouTube channels anymore. And I don't necessarily blame those companies. Um, it's become so easy to find people that are willing to spread the word about their products across the internet that I think in a lot of cases, it's not worth it to invest a lot of money on single YouTube channels unless they're really, really big. But I will say for those of you that run companies, micro influencers, so the YouTube channels that are in the size range that we are at, anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000 subscribers, they actually tend to have more influence on their, uh, their viewers. And so you actually get a much higher percentage turnaround on sales uh, working with those companies. Now that said, we have made a vow from the beginning of time that we would not represent any companies that we don't actually believe in ourselves because we're really not in this thing for the money. Um, and if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, I advise you to do the same thing. Because the last thing that you wanna be known for is being a company that flip flops all over the place and will take a dollar from anybody who's willing to give it um, to then boost their sales. That's not what we're about. That's not what you should be about. Um, we really like to do this because we enjoy it and we're looking for, you know, companies that make good products that we would advise our friends to use as well. So I could go on and on about this, but I think you guys get the picture. There's not a lot of money in the YouTube game, especially in the early stages, unless you're able to get a big boost to where you're, you know, got several hundred thousand subscribers and you're getting millions and millions of views every month. It's not going to make you any money. Um, that said, if you were thinking about starting a YouTube channel because you just wanted to, uh, you know, get some discounts or free gear, probably a better route for you would be to see if you can contribute to an already existing channel and take advantage of some of the relationships that they've already created. Um, but that's probably going to be your best bet if what you're trying to do is uh, just get yourself some discounts and free stuff. I promise you the amount of work that goes into starting a YouTube channel um, definitely outweighs just going out and buying the gear yourself. So just something to keep in mind. I hope you guys found this found this helpful. Um, and I'm sure I didn't answer a lot of questions. So if you have more questions, just put them down in the comments. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the YouTube algorithms don't really like hunting channels, so they don't really push us that hard. So we really rely on you guys to spread the word for us. So please share this video with a friend of yours that you think might be interested in our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. I think that's all I got. Peace out.